Now, I'd already had a history of working with Madonna. I'd done a lot of projects with Madonna, very successful projects with Madonna. So I've never been Madonna's best friend, but because we worked a lot together, we have a rapport. We, right. we, and we know how to work together. We've been very intimate situations, creative situations together. So I already had this relationship going into the project. Now, Madonna didn't ask me to do the movie Evita. Alan Parker asked me to do the movie Evita. But Alan Parker had a monster overinflated ego from what I had heard that about his past films, that it was always an Alan Parker film. He liked being the king of the movie, no matter what it was about or who was in it. Well, in a Madonna film, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's going to be Madonna and not Alan Parker. Yeah. And he couldn't really deal with that very well. Um, and part of it, he took out on me until one time I had this conversation with him what had happened was he cast someone who was supposed to dance with Madonna. He never brought me in for casting. He never saw that the people could dance. He just cast people because he thought they looked interesting, you know? Well, he had cast a man that I worked with for about six hours to try to teach him some very simple tango steps. The guy left so frustrated and so upset. I went to Alan and I said, Alan, this guy can't even move. He can't dance. I said, he, 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 you just can't do this to Madonna. He, I, I mean, how are you going to do this? He's never going to be able to repeat a step. You're never going to be able to, to, to take that shot again and again. And he said, oh, Vincent, you're just trying to make this into a big dance film. And it's not a big dance film. I said, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to tell you what happened in rehearsal. And he said, well, the reason I picked this guy was because he was in, I can't even remember, dancing or something like right. that. Well, it turned out that he was not in dancing. He was the stage manager. You know, he wasn't even a performer on the, in the project and it wasn't dancing, but it was something like that, a big yeah. dance project. So I basically told him, I said, Alan, look, you know, I know that you think that I'm Madonna's best friend and I know that you feel a little slighted by that or something, but you're the one who hired me. I'm, I'm here to work to make your vision be fulfilled, not Madonna's vision. She's also here to make your vision be fulfilled. Right. That's why we're here, you know? And I said, but if you don't want me, if you don't think you can work with me, I don't need to be here. You know, we still have two weeks before principal photography and I'm more than welcome, willing to go home and you can bring somebody else. There's a lot of other people that can do this job, you know? And he walked around a little bit and then he came over and he said, I want to apologize. I'm, I'm wrong and I'm glad that you told me this and I appreciate you being here and um, things will get better from now on. And they did. But it took that, you know, it took me putting it on the line, you know. I mean, I didn't want to leave that film. I, I, I had been offered that film by two previous directors who almost did it. Um, so it was destined for me to do that film. This was the third time it was coming up and the third time I was asked. So, But you had boundaries and, and you... Absolutely. 